and hello there and anime followers today I'm going to be showing you my first video so please don't judge of my first suit legs so right here I have them they're pretty nice I worked a while on them well I worked one approximately one day on them but it was, I used cheap foam the foam was only $15 for this and I still have extra foam but I'm going to soon add little strong pads at the bottom of the feet since every time I walk around there's little dents going into the feet but they only last for a day then they pop up, back up but I still want to fix that so anyways so I also have questions for you guys and I'm wondering for suggestions for my legs because I'm still wondering how to put the fur onto them like I've been told to glue the fur onto it but sew the fur together but if you're doing your legs and I'm going to wrap it around and sew it how am I going to glue it so I'm confused about that so in the description please tell me how to do that also so anyways I I was wondering if you guys knew if this was a good fur it's fax fur from I think it was something for that com. Sorry, I don't remember what it was called. But this is just my update on my foam legs. They're really comfortable and you can move around in them very well. See, I can bend perfectly fine without feeling like I'm gonna break them. Yeah. <laughs> so, the legs are nice and as you can see on my toes, I added extra foam to the top of the toes, so then it makes it more lifelike. So when I only had it flat, it looked very bad. And you want to trim the edges of the sides of it to make it more round. If it's not round, it will look like a box like cardboard. And right here I need to fix because this part popped up. But that is very easy fix. I use hot glue from a mini glue gun to do this. And if you don't have three inch foam and don't have enough money to use it, I just use five layers of a centimeter foam to make it look nice and thick. But it was very hard to cut. And here, I just added it so then, like see, it's like more skinny here and then it just slowly gets bigger. So then it wraps more around the leg and on the foot so then it attaches better. And then I just added another layer to make it the more jigger on the legs. I also did it here for the same thing. And on top of the first layer I did one three U layers. But the third layer is not very big, it's just like a little ball. And for this part, it wasn't that hard. But I add, for the first layer I added three layers after the first layer, which is a total of four layers. So, I think I did pretty good on the legs. What do you guys think? Anyways, I'm going to be taking a bunch of requests of suits to make. I'm also going to be selling legs for people that send me, like, a duct tape dummy, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, and then I will just find tights that fit it. So then I can make it for you guys. So I am, for not, well I'm, don't judge my crafting. <laughs> this is how well I can craft. I've crafted many things before. I've crafted costumes before also. But so far I think this is gonna be my best costume. So I am, uh, I am willing to take requests for suits and I'm also taking a request for me to draw you guys a fursuit model in case you don't want to buy a fursuit from me. I can go ahead and show you one of my old designs I'm not going to use it anymore so feel free to take it. Here. This was one of my old designs. I called it a kiki. I, I changed my design since I found a new design that I liked. That's the front part. Here's the back part, and I think I lost the front. No, here it is. Here's the front of it. 
Okay, let me take it to the light. There. That's my Kiki. Feel free to take this design because I don't really want it. So I will allow you to claim ownership on my Kiki. But don't change the name of it. I like the name Kiki. Anyways. I am also going to sometimes be playing video games for you guys in case like I'm waiting for a product to get here. Like right now, I have my white fur, but all the rest of my fur, it was the wrong color, so I'm having to ship it back since at first I was doing, well, my first design was this. I, I had ordered this fur already, which was $100 for this fur. But now, since I changed my design, I'm sending the fur back tomorrow. Since I, I mean, I, I can show you guys the white fur that I already have. It's luxury shag white fur. So, hold on. Oh my god. Oh, look at my kitty. Hey, you're on camera. Oh, where's your kitty? Oh, yeah. There it is. This is where I usually do my crafts. As you can tell, there's a vacuum <laughs> from cleaning up the foam. And here's the foam. I have quite a lot left that's left over. I bought my foam from Family Dollar, and it's actually good quality foam for only 15 And right here, here's my fur. Let me take it down. It's beautiful white fur. I try to make it in focus. It's a very, it's extremely soft. And it's, okay. Look, this is from its edge. This is where, this is where it stops. From here to here is how long the foam is. Which is pretty long. And it's very nice. And it's good quality and it doesn't shed. So I very, I recommend this for a lot. And over here, wait, I can't show that one yet. Here is one of my feet. I did not make this. I actually bought this from Target for only 15. It has little rubber things at the bottom. And when you scrape your feet across like a hard floor, it will make a squeaking sound. Yeah. <laughs> They're nice. They are made by the company Cat and Jack. They are very comfortable, and they had extra added some cost to it, so then it makes it more like a fursuit. So I also recommend this project, like Cat and Jack. So it's very nice. And if you guys are interested. In me doing clay projects I can also do that just tell me what I should make I mean like I'm okay at doing clay art if I had my clay with me I'll be able to show you where my making is but it's in the car right now and it's very late at night and in my neighborhood it gets extremely dark and the street lights always go out at night for some reason they're supposed to go on but they go off the opposite what we want Right. Also, um, see this? This was a blanket. My mom had told me to try to use it for my fur on the project. It was bad. Blankets have two layers, and that makes it very hard, and it does not shave very well. So I do not recommend using a blanket for your fur project. Do not use a blanket. Also, please, guys, don't use cardboard boxes for a free suit. It makes them terrible. I mean, like, I'm sorry for you that you use cardboard, but as long as you make it well, I'm fine with it. If you make it, like, where the head is just square, uh, no thank you. But, yeah. I recommend using a balaclava from fursuitsupplies.com and buying the bal black balaclava and then just covering it in foam so then it makes it a nice body and an easy put on to the head. Also for the eyes, 
you have to use see-through any color mesh. I would recommend the black mesh and for like the eye color, use plastic and paint it. Like you can buy one of those plastic folders and then get some acrylic paint and paint it to the eye type you want and then just hot glue it into your eye with so then add an extra space underneath the eye and insert the black mesh. So then you can see out of the eye when the plastic makes it look like nobody can see out of the mask because then it looks more realistic okay well these are just notes for recommendations so you don't have to do these okay okay <laughs> it was, i might act a bit childish sometimes because i'm 11 years old but i act like a child so yeah but don't judge me by my age no right hairstyle my hair is usually going to be extremely messy, but I just brushed it to make for this video. Perfect. <laughs> Anyways, if there's any, like, destructions with the camera, please let me know in the description, because right now I'm the one holding the camera, and I can't see if I'm doing, like, everything right to where I can see it well. See, like, now... I can see it myself. But right now I can't see what I'm doing. Except for I'm in front of a mirror and I can see the oh. Okay. Except that I'm looking in the mirror and I can see it. That's why I realized it was too zoomed on zoomed in on my mouth. Sorry about that guys. <laughs> yeah, I swear that I have a nose. I get terrible allergies, so every video I'm probably gonna be doing a little sniff like this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I do take allergy medicine though. So that's the only thing. And if you, hmm, I don't know anything anymore. Hmm, thinking caps on. Okay, I'm back. So, for the first suit body, where for like your stomach, you should make it like <clears throat> first do a paper diagram of it, then print it out onto the fur, and then make two layers of that with all your designs on it. So then you can cut your designs out so you can add more colors to the main color. So then you can sew it easily. Also, I would recommend a sewing machine because I can't sew. I'm having real trouble sewing since I need to show sew and I don't have a sewing machine. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode for today with the NAMU followers. Bye-bye!